All right, I'm going to experiment with a new uh, idea here on video. I'm going to try something a little different tonight. Um, I'm going to start another project tonight. <clears throat> um, probably take me a little bit to do this project. But anyway, something I've had laying around in the, in the bag of cars I've been wanting to do. Um, this is a 1964 Lincoln Continental suicide doors. Um, this is the Hot Wheels. Um, car is pretty rough shape but um, I got some ideas this been kind of lingering here in the truck uh, sorry it's been so long since I put a video out uh, just been been busy and everything um, trucking the busy job but anyway I'm gonna this is a plastic base it's a metal car um, I'm going to go ahead and actually drill this um, see what happens I guess with it um, and see what happens here so this is all kind of trial and error on this part of it um, I'm actually going to And everybody's showing videos on this, uh, how they do this. Um, I've never done a shit really showed how I do it. Um, I got the idea on these bits from another YouTube. But these Harbor Freight, there's a full set of them. Um, five of these bits in a set. people would say just to go by and, and uh, heat the post up with the soldering iron which I do have in the truck but um, I'm going to do it this way um, see how it works I want to be able to put this car back together so I will uh, drill and tap tap the post on this car so I can put it back together
I don't want to ruin these parts, so I'm just progressively stepping up to the bigger and bigger bits. I actually don't think this one will fit in this drill. Should be able to pop this apart. Handy dandy little Harbor Freight vice there, go it. Suction cups to my table. Makes it pretty nice. Set that aside. room in these wheel wells to get in here to try and pop this base loose. The, uh, the axles are still pretty decent on this car. I'll be cleaning this up a little bit here. The axles on this car are still pretty decent. Um, it seems to roll all right. So I'm going to... Uh, to keep these, I want to. I'm gonna go by and paint the base up. We'll paint the base in a, in a black, in a flat black, and then uh, I'll just come by and use the chrome pen and re-chrome plate these wheels. And uh, then after the base is all all painted black, I'll come back in and re-chrome the bumpers using the chrome pen. I'll touch the bumpers up. There's a little bit of a nick on the side of the chassis right here. Um, not too sure about that. This is the interior. It'll get a good cleaning. Um, I'm hankering to do another two-tone interior on this car. So, um, the, uh, Little Mercedes didn't quite go as planned, but um, got some new ideas, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a two tone interior on this car. Glass just comes out. This glass is really really rough. So, um, 
submit it with some wet, I'm going to wet sand it and polish it and see what I can do with it. Um, we'll go by and we'll paint the sun visor and stuff. Here's the overall body. Um, as you can see, I kind of boogered up the post a little bit here, so I'll have to go by and take the Dremel, cut them off, and I'll go in and re-tap, or re-drill and re-tap the, the post there. Um, so, let me uh, get the Dremel out here, and I'll be right back. All right, so back with you here. Um, I figured I'd save you, save you the, your ears for the sound of the Dremel going. Um, I have a power inverter in my truck that allows me to run different tools. Um, it runs my microwave, it runs my TV, my refrigerator, all that kind of stuff that I have in here. My uh, Keurig coffee pot stuff. It also allows me to run my Dremel. So anyway, here's what I did. I ground down the post. Um, I still have a little bit more work to do. A little bit of a burr on this one. You know, I have to go by and recenter, punch these, and redrill these out. They won't be very deep, as you can see by the length of the post here. But gives you an idea. Um, and when I get home, I will throw this car in a paint stripper. It won't take much to strip this. And uh, I think I have a color kind of picked up full of this. So, um, but I'll go by next week and I might even do it tomorrow. It depends on what, uh, where I end up. Uh, I know where I'm going to be, but as far as, as, uh, what I'm going to get into and, uh, get this interior cleaned up and, uh, kind of want to go based upon the, uh, exterior color, but, See what we're going to get into with this old Lincoln. Um, kind of think of a hot rod Lincoln theme, but I don't know. It's going to be low. Um, these cars sat low anyway. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. But, I'll get it uh, drilled out and drilled and tapped. That way it's ready to go. So this, could be, this isn't going to be a real long build. Um, probably finish this up in just a couple of different couple of uh, videos. But like I said, I'm trying something here with with the way I'm going to shoot my videos. I want to see how this works. Um, normally, when I shoot my videos, I go I'm on the YouTube channel on my YouTube channel and I'm shooting my videos. And with that, I don't have a means to be able to pause and do like I did with the Dremel and then come back. Um, this way I'm shooting the video uh, via the camera on my phone, record on my phone, and then I'll go back and hopefully save it to uh, put it on the YouTube channel that way, which I am hoping will, uh, number one, give me better videos, and number two, allow me some flexibility in my videos. This way there's not so much time of you guys watching me painting detail stuff. I can just go by and, and pause it, do what I gotta do, and then come back to it. So, um, but anyway, that's it for tonight's video. Um, I bought some more cars today while I was out and about and found them. Um, So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and share my videos as always. Feel free to post your comments below whether you like what I'm doing, hate what I'm doing. I don't care either way. And uh, once again, from out here in the truck, we are out here in Georgia tonight on our way back from, from Texas and back to Pennsylvania for Monday morning. But uh, I'll be home tomorrow afternoon. So, anyway, thanks. Everybody have a good evening.